Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodity Futures Report for Monday, July the 4th. And just to let you know that um, I will be um, reducing the commodity side of things. I will be um, only doing the commodities two or three times a week. And I probably will cut down on uh, some of the products within within these um within the commodity uh, index here, uh, the commodity video. So probably things like soft commodity and nickel will probably go. Um, we'll just stay with the main ones because I'm finding it a bit too much. I'm doing too much. Um, anyway, back on to um, the US government yields here as one and two, and then one and two. We've got a lovely one, two, three, four, five up here. And last time we spoke, we were looking for wave four to pull back. So that can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree or the 38.2% retracement level. But we are getting a classic trading levels pattern sitting on this level here. So it will look like that. And we can go long over here for that. So that means that uh, over here above that high here we can go long at that point and we'll push up take those um those yields uh higher at that uh at that stage so that trend we can see the stochastics pulling back at that point we can also see a stronger us dollar as well uh so we'll expect that to push up and make new highs here as, as we've been speaking about the breakout through this area so we'll see that uh climb higher it needs to make a new high above this area through here and we'll also see obviously see the euro uh move lower it's a little bit hard to see here but three four and going down for five it's possible that we can put this over here and get some sort of flat triangle pattern to come down through to here but whichever way you look at this it's um it's still to the downside so just on the uh intraday here on 2k ticks here we we're looking for this to really follow the indices down <clears throat> You know, you know the euro and uh, the stock 50 and so on so we've got this uh, five wave structure down here for wave one a wave and abc for the b wave and we're looking for five waves up here so we're looking for a push up on on the uh us indices so um and will it get up to this point here i don't know we'll just watch it for a day or two obviously the us are on holidays um and maybe i've got that wave three a little bit short here but we will be looking for short trades as this market moves uh higher over to the gold market um gdx here as the uh etf as you can see it's um it's moved down quite a lot really compared to what us spot gold has uh <coughs> achieved over over those days um that was still on the downside for gdx here so there's no change in in that we're expecting a little bit of a rally for this wave two compared to this little from that wave two down for one a, abc back for wave two and then moving down into the 25 and further down at that point so when it comes to us spot gold here do i have that label here somewhere there we go so we've been looking at this in a few ways with uh, you know uh, the, the bias has really been as one and two and one and two and, and and rolling over to the downside the possibility for triangle was there but it just didn't really line up with the mining and metals and copper and all of those sorts of things so it's holding up quite well i must say um and we've got our first spike below 18 uh, here, as you can see. So we're looking for a little, we can consider all of this as a five wave structure and then a little ABC to come back up here. So you can short it now. We've got that first low below the level. That would be the setup at that point. We don't trade spikes through price points. We don't never do that. Um, we wait for that to uh, retest supply. And if it moves down through that, well then we'll just surf that wave down lower at at that point so it is holding up um, but it may catch up to uh, to copper and uh, some of the other metal markets like silver here so with silver here we've been looking at one and two and three and four here and then rolling over four wave five here so this has still got a fair way to move down at this point too so i don't really need to copy those i can just drag those and uh, we'll be looking for further down that will also be a little uh one and two in here as well so we're not really into you know this third wave will come into here this fifth wave will need to come down lower here so there's still a fair bit to roll over in in all of this 
and I may need to adjust it to go further down, but I'm pretty satisfied with it at the moment in this, and we're getting a really nice uh, impulse wave here. That was the 38.2% retracement level. We don't need that anymore. So we're, yeah, we're just moving down here slowly. So that's the direction, really. So, I mean, if you're short, you can hold that short. Um, if you're a, a stacker, well, then you can start stacking at 16.50 to 17, I'd say. I mean, obviously, there's going to be really good support at 18. But anyway, we'll pull this trend apart as we get further down. But expect a retest of uh, 20. And after the supply comes down on top of that, that will push it down into 19 at that point. Okay, so... Um, db agricultural here so it's on the soft commodity side of things so here we've got little wave one and two in here and maybe that two could be drifted across over here but whichever way we look at it we can look at this here as one and two and three and four and five so we still got um a way this this has got to finish off here we still need this and this to come down uh at this stage so there's still further to uh, to come down uh, to finish this little structure off. There might even be one more little wave in, in there, but um, before we get this and we get this here. So there's still further downside to come here, and I don't think we can call that wave one. So we're going to bring um, cycle degree A across over to here and cycle degree two because of the structure. So um, yeah, so that's where that is at the moment. put that one there and that one just there for the time being but I'll need to check that and that leaves that there as a nice one two three four five here so we still need to get this three and four here I need to lift that up a degree it's not that's not going to cut it but that's okay it still gives us it still gives us those five waves that we're looking at coming into here so maybe down into the 19 sort of area here depending on on what's what <clears throat> we can look to have a short on this side Radio. I'm not going to look at corn and soybeans and so on, but obviously they're going to be down as well in that thing. Over to the energy sector. So we're going to have a look at this and then crude and gas as well. So uh, the we've got a very clear five wave structure here of one, two, three, four, five here. So we should have a reasonable sort of rally off the low here back into you know we don't need to come back up to 61.8 percent it's possible um but really it's all about this number here <clears throat> it's about retesting that number so i'm thinking the a wave the b wave and the c wave now i could be wrong on that note um so this can also just cascade lower so now that that's um showing a little leg of support here with closing up off the low here that means that there's some demand here it's pulled back down more than enough um, to secure that low in here for that so if that low is breached then you can short at that point and there's a case for that but there's also a case that while it hasn't really had a three wave swing as a b wave to get to its 50 60 percent retracement level at that point so um yeah so we're looking at gas and silver doing a uh, gas and um <clears throat> and crude doing much the same thing as well we just got to be careful they don't slip away on us here that's all but as far as the crow flies, it looks like we've got um, an A and a B and a C to unfold uh, in that energy sector there. And uh, for crude oil here, um, we've been speaking about um, this coming up for wave D here, and that seems to have played out uh, quite nicely. I don't think this is... It looks a little bit small to me at this stage, so I'm just... Um, just bear with me a second. I just want to, um, it's not worth trading in here. You're just going to get chopped up. I'm just trying to get this. Um, it's just really about perspective at this point and also timing as well. You know, because when this settles over here, when we just had a look at, um, uh, we just looked at 
the energy sector here for a moment. So we still got with the energy sector, we still got to, we, we may have that leg in here, but we still need this C leg here, right? So for the stocks and that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a, you know it's a good couple of you know half a month of trading at least. You know plus that we may, you know I mean there's twenty trading days in a month, so um, you know, it kind of shorts it a bit. But so all all of that timing's got to be you know we the time we get to this low here, we want to see crude over here finishing its leg off over here, whatever that means. You know so we've got to kind of bring them all together at that point um so in terms of timing this out that looks like an impulse wave here so maybe an a and a little abc for this to finish off and then then a c wave here and then this so it looks about right um so there's just no trade here you're just going to get chopped up so don't get chopped up don't just give your money away like that you know there's better buttons to push um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, where we are in this tr this larger triangle pattern: the A, the B, the C, the D, and the E. I'm not that happy with this particular structure either. I could, we may end up needing to put this over here. But anyway, we'll just uh, we'll just chill, and I still still want to leave this over here because we've seen, you know, copper and uh, no, I know copper's not related to this, but they're all they're all one thing leads to another um okay but anyway look like i said coming into this there's not there's not going to be much in here it's only really for scalpers and uh uh nothing once this is done then then we're good to go at that point you know um, but it's still it's a long way you know like i said it's a good month you know it's july now so maybe the beginning of august or something for that um <clears throat> natural gas so we need to have a look at the bigger picture today for this so we've been counting um where are we here um let's get in a little bit more data here is that two so maybe five will be enough not quite i'm going to go the whole charlie hog so we're not going to look at that as wave three anymore. We'll need to look at that as wave five, and I'll get to that in a moment. But um, and we'll need to change all of this as well. Um, not so much the count, just the uh, the labelling. So um, heading up to that major level there. So from the top here anyway, we've got one and two, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, fourth wave. And we've been shorting down here, as you know, as one and we've got one, one, two, three, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five. A little bit short on this one, but it's probably longer than wave one, so it's okay. Um so I think that we've got this impulse wave here, this one, two, three, four, five, and we've got this ABC pattern here. So it's likely we're going to go up further. So I think that uh, we've taken money off the table here. I think we may need to take the rest of it off the table uh, here. So I'm just going to bring that stop down to to this point here and we'll stop ourselves out here. And we'll just wait and see. We might be able to, we may, you know, we. We'll see how far we come back up here, but it's just that we may come just come to here and then go down again from that point. So we just need to be a little bit aware of that when we get to this point. But based on that impulse wave, that corrective wave, we should see at least one move to here. So we'll just check on this. I don't want to go long either. We can short this position over here, <coughs> or if this plays out as a nice B wave across here, we'll trade this one up through here. But otherwise, it's this move down here. Now I want to go to the bigger picture. Uh, we need to revisit that. Uh, so let's put that on to 200 down to one day. And let's just go to this bigger picture here for a moment and get in a bit more here. So that's the, that's all of it. That's the whole thing to the upside. So we can look at this as being one and two and three and four and five here and i'm going to label it wave a here it could actually be the top here we may have gone through some sort of a and b wave down here and a c wave up 
all up here and we're done and dusted up here. I don't know that. Nobody knows that at this point. So what we need to do is we know that we've got all we know so far is we've been tracking five waves down here and we've we've traded it here and there and so on. So now we're looking for this B wave to come in here. So that should come in at, I mean, it's going to be different from, I mean, obviously there's things going on with gas and oil uh, in different ways. So will it come all the way back up to the 80 here for wave B? To know, it's a bit of a long shot, but um, we've got to start somewhere. So we just, all we're going to do is we've got this little bit off the low here. We don't want to go long at this point just yet for this and we'll take a closer look at this but I just wanted to get you to understand the bigger picture here for a moment or two um, and like I said it may not be the B wave we may end up with wave one here and two here and then coming down even you know into a third wave here we don't know what's going on but at this stage we'll look for the call it an A wave and then an A and a B and a C for the B wave and going up for the C wave at that point. So we're working in this little area through here. So we're just going to go to the intraday on that at 2K ticks and just uh, have a closer look at this top and so on here. So so I've lab labeled it uh, intermediate of primary of cycle degree here. If I'm wrong, I'm not that far wrong with it, but um, not that it really matters at this point. The thing is, is that we've been counting down here as one, two, we've got one and two, one, two, three, four and five for the third, fourth and fifth. Um, so we'll call the low in here, we'll get out of our short trades and uh, obviously you, could, you can trade long at the moment if you wanted to, you know, the stochastics is pulling back nicely in line with the little trend that's sort of happening here. You'd need to, um, you can just go long here and keep your stop under this current low here. It's always nice to work with numbers, so that would be five, seven, even going long at five dollars seventy. So find a nice tested support on five dollars seventy, and you can go long from that point. I don't know how far we're going to go up here, or what what wave A and B and C are actually going to look like in here, and will that get us high enough for for wave A, or are we going to have five waves up here? You know, are we going to look at this as wave one and two here? and three and four and five coming up to here, something a bit more reasonable, and then an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave, and then a C wave up here. W will that happen? You know, I, I'm not quite sure about all of that, but if I was going to go long, I would be looking to go long in this little space here. Not that I wanted to go long, but um, uh, that's where it would be at this particular point in time. So I think looking over here and drifting over to the largest number, which would be $5.70, getting a very small position on $5.70 with a classic trading levels pattern, um, sitting at $5.70 like that and going long over at this point, and doing the same at $5.80, so $5.70, $5.80, and then at 6 Now, I've I won't remember that I've said all of that, so you're kind of on your own there a little bit. So you're going to get two part positions, one at 560 and one at uh, one at 570, one at 580, and then <clears throat> you'll look for another classic trading levels pattern on six, where you'll see a larger correction there at six because you're meeting supply over here. Um, so you could trade up to the six and get out, six dollars and get out, which is probably a good thing to do, and then I'll help you get back in again. And uh, if we get support on that, well, then I'll be interested in going along at that point because, you know, this is the bit here that's going to pin that down at that point. But really, we should, if, if this structure is not going to extend down any further, then... Um, then we should be having a decent rally here. I mean, we should be rallying anyway because we're looking for, you know, for this to, to rally. But this could just take one, two, three, four, you know, one, two, three days here. So give it three to five days over here and that could be it. You know, how far will this get in three to five days? And will we get this over here? Is, is this going to be different than crude in a way? So anyway, that's uh, gas for the time being. And iron ore, 
uh, iron ore is really more more or less an Australian thing, unless you're trading sort of stainless steel in uh, in the US, any of those sort of companies. But what we do know is that we need to look at this here as down here as an A wave and ABC for the B wave, then down for one and back for two, and then one and two, and we're going into the third wave. So we're going to be taking that low out here, and we're going to be going down further. So you. BHPs of the world uh, be on the short side for them. In fact, uh, we talked about going short in the Australian video. The Australian video will have natural gas, iron ore in it, and um, now and again, copper and crude, um, <clears throat> because Australia is a commodity uh, dollar uh, to start with. Um, and most of our, you know, we don't have a big tech sector. We have banks real estate and um well australia is real estate it just depends what you're doing on that real estate you're either mining it or building on it it's pretty much it uh so unfortunately um okay iron ore and then we come to copper here so with copper we still got another leg down here for this so um yeah, so from the top here, I've had this as wave four, but I don't think that's correct. So we're going to have a look at that again. So one and two here, and then we're counting five waves down here for three and four, and then one and two, one, two, three, four, five for third, fourth. So we probably need to look at this as one and two here, then uh, one, two, three, four, third, fourth, fifth. So at least down to 35 here for the time being before we get probably down to 35 and then we'll get a, a bounce we'll have a look at that bounce we'll have to work that to the uh to the upside but um i do want to go to the daily chart here for a moment because i just want to call out where what we're up against here where are we one day is this the one okay so <clears throat> So what I was looking for here in, in copper was really wave three over here with an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down here. And, and that's all good. Uh, we can look at this as one and two and then three, four, five. And we just, as I just mentioned, then we'd put a fair bit of work into counting all that down here, down into 35. And this is our target area. So is this correct? That's the problem. The problem with this is wave four overlaps wave one here. So if that negates this particular count of one two three four here coming down well then we have to label it differently don't we we could still label that one and two that would be the right way to go but then we would need to look at this here as one and two here all right and then this wave this would all of this down here will be wave three to here copy that wave four to here and then wave copy that down for wave five here and that would make wave three at that point and then we would have wave four over here so <clears throat> i mean I'll, I'll leave this here for the time being um it's just that i don't have an answer for that yet but they, these are the two things that can occur and it's only once we land down here wherever it is at 35 and then we observe what's going on here will we be impulsive here or will we be corrective here in wave four uh, at this point and then go down for wave five four and five now this would follow the gold market down so it's pro this is probably the count here okay Okay, over to nickel. So last time we spoke with nickel, we were looking for wave four to kick up. So that's all good. And then we're looking at this to move down. It's still got further to move down at this stage. Uh, that's corrective. So we'll just look at that to move down. There's gonna be a bounce off this here. We'll just see what it looks like at this point. But, you know, um, obviously if, if once we land here and we see a corrective move here, if it is corrective, well, obviously we're going to come down further. So I would say that nickel will be in line with um, with copper and uh, and the other guys, you know, the other metals. So probably we'll need to come down uh, further, but we'll just see if we get a corrective bounce 
off here first. There'll be something of that size. If we can identify that, then we can look to be short in the next leg down. But we've accounted for all the wave structures here. So I think that we're okay. We're doing all the right things. Um, we'll just check what happens here. <coughs> and uranium. So with uranium, we've been counting down here as five waves. We were looking for an A wave. And I'm thinking this can be the B wave, but it doesn't look like a very nice B wave to me. It looks like it's actually five waves here, unless we put this top over here on this, and that is a top there. So we could, that looks like a wave four. So a wave five here is an A and a B and a C. Such a long shot. So the second thing here is that we're just going to come to the box and we'll look at all of this as wave one here and then an A and a B and a C back for wave two here and then dropping. So that means that you can go short below this particular one here. You could probably bring that up under that one here. Um, you could probably do uh, just do half a position or part position at that point just in case we get it wrong and then look for uh, a full position uh, further under here further, which would probably what we'll do at that point, we will look for a bounce off the 18 to get in at that point. So the market will um, come down here as five waves and then we'll have an A and a B and a C wave back up, back up into here and then go down. So we should be able to short it under that B wave there or just on the as a, as a 50 60 percent retracement area there for for that I mean you could probably short it in the box here when it goes up there but um yeah if you want to be a little bit safer I mean the stochastics are telling you the same thing as well you can see how far the stochastics has, has come up compared to how far the price has come up so the speed of the the speed of that's telling you that um what's going on so that will probably roll over so you could do a small position in the box if you wanted to very small um and that's it that's all the commodities so thanks for tuning in cheers